Hi, this is Rick Patterson. Thanks for coming to my video today. Today we're going to talk about how to install a range cord on a stove. First thing you want to know is that you have to um, follow the instructions on the cord, range cord bag. And uh, I happen to pull everything out and I've got this uh, four foot range cord. It's a 50 amp three conductor. Now the important thing to realize is that you've got to match the end of this cord to the receptacle. Now one of the things that I've done is just use my iPhone or, or phone camera and take a picture of the receptacle, not the cord that I'm uh, using or, or transferring, unless I'm uh, installing the same cord and just renewing the cord. Um, so what I do is just take a picture of it, go to the store, and then I pull it up on gallery, and then take a look at it and make sure it matches exactly. Now, let's say it's the other way around. You've got a oven, and uh, you're moving it into uh, a new home or a new situation for you. And so what you do is you can take a picture of the plug itself, the end of the cord, and then go to the store and do it that way. So either way, you got to make sure that these match. Let's go to the next part. Okay, so what I've done here is just take off the, the back panel, and this looked like this when I took it off. Just take this off, set it to the side. Then um, I'm going to take my cord and set it through the hole. And then I'm going to spread these out. So I've got one that goes over here. And there are screws for this to sit in. And then the middle one. And then the one on the end. So it's pretty self-explanatory. There's no wrong way to do it, except you've got to always make sure that the middle one is goes to the white wire, because that's your neutral, then take the bolts that you're going to, I'm sorry, the nuts that you're going to use and tighten these down. You want to make sure that's pushed all the way back and all the way in. like so, then you tighten these bolts up here. Now once all the bolts and nuts are uh, secure and tight, you can go ahead and put this back on. So this is the cover panel. Just take it like so, fit it back inside there. Got to make sure everything's lined up like it should be. and then secure this back on too as well. Now we're ready to go ahead, position the oven back where it is, the stove back, and then plug this up. Okay, everything's in place. It's ready to go, it's plugged up and operational. Now we're just gonna clean up and start cooking dinner. This is Rick Patterson with the Handyman Toolbox. By the way, before you go, I want to encourage you to check out my other videos, and you'll see a link below. Click on it, the 1,000th person that subscribes to thehandymantoolbox.com gets a free tool. Go ahead and register now. See you there.